I guess the most important thing that I learned going through school and going through a career was that uh, preparation is far and away the most significant thing. Uh, that uh, I can tell you that my, uh, when I went off to school, my scholastic achievement test scores were probably the lowest of uh, any of the students that I entered law school with. Yet, uh, through a lot of hard work and preparation, and uh, I made up for those things that, that I just uh, didn't have the natural ability to do and then ended up graduating uh, number one uh, in that class of 360 students that started with me in law school. So I guess the best advice I could give any, uh, any student or anybody in any kind of career is just you can outwork the competition. You can outwork those people who are, are uh, uh, going after the same thing you're going after. There are certain problems in doing this. If you uh, work as, even today, I'm 73 years old, I, I work seven days a week, I come in early and I stay late, uh, but I need to do this in order to compete and I've done this all my life. And this is the same advice I would give to anyone, uh, both during school and during their career. There are problems with this, and the problems are that, that there are other things in life that you may enjoy other than work. And that, that is a, uh, you, you know, the family suffers for those things that, that if you work 16 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't leave you much time for your family life. And so you have to uh, balance these things and hopefully you can uh, balance them in such a way that, that you can be successful in both your, your career and your, your life outside of your career. It's, this question was uh, actually asked of me uh, at an award that I was getting uh, a week ago. And because I was explaining that I had to work two or three times harder than, than my competition, or, or, and in doing so, my family suffered. I mean, I, uh, I've got four children, 11 college graduations, uh, and I attended one. And that's not something to be proud of, but at the same time, I, uh, I, had, I had to make a decision because I could not balance uh, my family life and my career, and I, I was very limited. But in the, uh, looking back, uh, had I not worked as hard and I spent more time with the family, I'm not sure I would have been the, uh, the person they, they, they could look up to. And, and even to this day, and one of them's a circuit judge, uh, another is uh, the general counsel to the Robert F. Kennedy Foundation for Justice. Uh, and they, they've all done incredibly well, and they were all present at this award, and all of them basically said that they were happy that I made the decision I made, uh, and that may or may not work for you or for uh, someone else. But in my situation, looking back, uh, my career has been very, very satisfying. And I think that by doing this, I was certainly a happier person, and I uh, and I, my children certainly, uh, or at least tell me today that they're glad I I took this road, 
Now, as far as as uh, unfortunately, I think it. Uh, my wife did not or uh, would not have the same uh, 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 thoughts that the, that the children did. In answer to your question, I guess looking back, uh, no, I would not have done anything any differently. As far as, as advising you as a uh, high school student or a college student, Times have changed. Uh, when I went to high school, and that was in the 50s, and went to college in the 50s, uh, it really didn't make any difference how well you did in high school. Uh, you could get into uh, certainly uh, almost any college you wanted to, because they took everybody and then they weeded them out. Uh, once. I went to college, it was the same thing, and I, and I went on to law school. Anybody could get into law school as long as you had that paper, that diploma. There's a difference today, and that is you can't do that. If, if you don't do well in high school, you're not going to get into a good college. If you don't do well in college, you're not going to go into advanced degrees, whether it be law, medicine, engineering, anything else. So uh, I would not be a good role model in that situation, but I can tell you that once I got to law school and uh, they said, look to your right, look to your left, and they won't be here when you graduate. Uh, actually, of 360 students that I started with, 60 graduated. So I guess that's one out of six that, uh, that made it. Uh, at that point, it changed my life. I started working harder because I had to work harder. So my advice uh, is don't believe just because your, your uh, scholastic achievement test scores are low that uh, you can't compete. Because uh, if, if you work, uh, and you've got reasonably good intelligence, uh, you can be successful. And I, uh, I mentioned the same thing uh, it, it's, uh, to my children that uh, because they had, unfortunately, the same problems I had as far as achievement test scores. Uh, my son actually uh, had the, I guess, the low, uh, he had an SAT of right at a thousand yet got into Stanford University and graduated with the highest of honors and then uh, went on to the University of Florida Law School graduated number one. So my my advice is don't think because of some uh, uh, if you want to call it disability and that is uh, the ability to take the standard test uh, which uh, uh, that that should not hold you back. Now it may keep you from getting into the school of your choice. It may hold you back, maybe in getting uh, the job. But once you get into your school, once you get into that job, you can really uh, uh, hard work, preparation can make up for a lot of things that that you may think you're lacking. So. Uh, my advice is, is, as far as to any young person, whether going to school, career, whatever it is, uh, just uh, uh, work as, as hard and as long as it takes to be uh, the best at what you do.